All right. So I know there's a blogging uh, channel and that uh, it's basically just for blogs, but it's my channel. I, want, I could do whatever I want to do. And today we're going to do an oil change and what we're going to need for that is the oil. This is the numbers, whatever it is, whatever it's called. I don't know why it's called like that, but it's called like that. The SAE 5W30 and this oil filter right there. And they're not like special ones. I just like picked random ones for the car. It's not even my car, it's my mom's car. 2009 on the Pilot. And I bought one of these to put in the oil in your meal. And I bought the oil catch can. Cause like we'd be putting like, we'd be catching oil with like some like random things. I'm like, all right, enough is enough. We need an oil catch can. So I got one and you need that and some music and some snacks and I think you're good. I mean, just don't eat it while you have like oil in your hands because it's pretty bad for you. But other than that, let's get started, you already know. Okay guys, first step on changing your oil is locating where everything is. So that's where you put in the oil right there, this little cap, you open that thing up, open it up. So it's pulling up my driveway, no, okay. Just take that out. Then you find where the where the you where you're gonna drain the oil. You get down, get down and nasty. Oh, you go down here. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I should say I just saw it. Uh, nope, not there. Oh, here you go. <laughs> All right, so here, engine oil. That's where you're gonna unbolt this and the oil is gonna come out of there. And then you can see right there, that's the oil filter. Right there. I think you guys are looking at it right now. Maybe, maybe not, but that's the oil, oil filter. Again, that's where you're gonna drain the oil and that's the oil filter. So first, you're gonna take this baby out and then let, let the oil drain out. So what I just found out, is that the oil the oil name is right there and I already okay so I was kidding about getting ran some random oil I looked it up on AutoZone and it just said that that one's gonna be for my car but apparently it isn't because that's what it is and this is what I got so before I go return it I'm gonna drain the oil then I'm gonna go buy it then I'll come back and put it in so that's what I'm gonna do so check the cab guys jeez okay first to open that, to unbolt it, not open it, to unbolt it, you go down here, like this, oh, get down there, okay, it's right there, right, oh my god, it's coming on, okay, I don't know what, oh my god, I can't fit here, there you go, okay, I don't know what size it is, so I'm just gonna go randomly grab one, and see if it fits. Does not fit. Any bigger. What the heck does not fit at all? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna need some bigger ones. Oh my god, it's not even fit. You're kidding. Alright, I'll bring it back with some more. Okay. Oh, I came back with some more of these, whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called, but yeah. So, you see? Put it in there. You see, it should not be like it's too loose it should be perfect so this one as you can see it fits perfect gets in there so you're gonna get that and get one of these bad boys that's i think it's a wrench i don't know i forgot what it's called but that's what it is and this is what you use and i'm gonna you know do my thing with it okay guys so the oil is draining at the moment and you guys know when i said to like you guys gonna need some music and some snacks well, you guys are gonna have to wait like 15 minutes for this thing to drain, and that's where you pull out the chips, and you just listen to some music while you wait. But in this case, since I got the wrong oil, I have to go back to AutoZone and, you know, get it, I guess. So, yep. All right, guys. I think it's recording, it's recording, it's recording. All right, oh my God, did I move it? Okay, so two, okay, now step two is to get the oil filter out and if you're broke like me or don't have a 
the oil wrench or whatever it's called i don't know what it's called but if you don't have the thing to take this out i saw a video out there on youtube where you get this bro i don't even know what it's called i don't even know what everything is called oh, my bad guys here you get one of these it's to like tie things up you get one of these turn like that more Good thing tight. I think that's it. Then you get there's that thing. Don't, it, don't tell me I lost it. Oh my god, that's it. Uh, uh. Uh, put it right here. Get it tight. Got a good grip. So you, as you can see, it's moving. Okay, I'm gonna have to uh, link the video that I saw. Okay, so just again, you don't have the wrench, let's go like that. Oh, did it go like this? Yeah, I went like this. Then go like another time, you go two times around the filter. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. So you go like that, right? And you have to pull this end at the same time as you put pressure, um, pressure like that, in that direction, so it's tight. So, yeah, that's how you take out the filter. And we're gonna take it out. Make sure to have your oil pan, oil catch, whatever you wanna call it. To catch the oil. You know, I should have a glove right now, but it's whatever. I'm gonna die anyways. Take it out like that. And let let it drain again. It's probably been like six hours, bro, since I started doing this. Because I got busy, I got coworkers coming in, I got friends coming in. And yeah, I got busy about doing that, but it's usually, it takes a lot less than that. It takes like real quick. But anyways, take that out. I'm gonna leave it right here so it can drain. And that's going to recycling, I think. And that's about it. Oh my God, did I click the wrong one? Okay, so now we already took it. Now you have to put this one in, the new one. So we're gonna get some uh, oil. I think, I think you just get some of the old one. It doesn't matter go like this just to lubricate it because everything is better when it's lubri lubricated you already know you go around like this need some more yeah i think that's good enough gonna go and just gonna hand tight it only hand tight it I'm just gonna get down. All right, just give me. All right, part two. Right here, just like that. And there, hand tight. Remember, guys, hand tight. Nothing more. Okay. Okay. I think that's good enough. Okay. You see oil filter it goes right here. And now we have to just put the old oil, I mean the new oil in. 
Okay guys, before actually you put it in, remember you have to tight this bolt up. This one right here, the oil one. You have to tighten it up with the with this bad boy right here. You have to just tie it up. Don't forget to do that. Okay guys, so now it's time to put this in. And it's okay, remember it's better to put less than more because then you're gonna have to like take out some of it so you're gonna have to repeat the process of taking the bolt out and then just draining it a little bit so it's better to put little by little by little once you like know that's almost full so so you're gonna put it in then stop then check the oil the you're gonna check the oil with uh, this little yellow thing right there you're gonna pull it out and check it out and if it needs more just put more and if it needs less and you have to take it out so yep so guys after you've done all of those steps you just gotta close that lid clean up this as you can see there's still some residue some oil residue and if you don't clean it well or if this is if there's still some then it's gonna smell like burnt oil once you run the car for a little while and hope that was helpful uh, but yeah that's about it guys